So today we are going to cover um, the last chapter of this um, semester, uh, which is going to be on the topic of the expansion of the universe. There are two things I would like to cover. The first thing is about Hubble's law, how we can use Hubble's law to find out the, um, the galaxies are moving away from us and then also the age of the universe. The second thing we want to talk about, um, the, um, the universe actually originated from the Big Bang and how the universe um, has been expanding and what do we mean by that. So Hubble actually found out that the galaxies are moving away from us through, um, if you still remember Doppler effect, okay, when things are moving away, so we're going to have red shift, okay. So he found out that the resectional velocity that the galaxies are moving away from us, how fast is moving away from us, equals h0, which is Hubble's constant times distance. And you can also see from this relationship that some galaxies, if they are further away, they're going to move faster away from us. So based on the, uh, the Hubble's constant, actually we can calculate the universe's age, which is about 14 billion years. And you guys did a lab which asked you to calculate uh, the, the age of the universe based on Hubble's law, so I'm not going to talk in more details about that. Instead, I want to focus on uh, how exactly the galaxy is expanding, okay? So we all know that the universe started from Big Bang, and when we talk about expansion, we're talking about um, the galaxy, galaxy, um, they are moving away from each other. So for inside each galaxy, actually, the objects are not moving away from each other, but the galaxy and galaxy, actually, they're moving away from each other. So you can imagine, okay, so uh, let's just, just talk about an example first. So you have a balloon, and then attached to the balloon, there are a lot of coins that stick to it, okay? And when you blow up the balloon, the balloon is getting bigger and bigger. You notice that the distance between the galaxies are getting further away. However, each coin size, the coin size does not change. So if you imagine, if you imagine each coin represents a galaxy. So when the universe is expanding, so that means uh, each universe actually is not expanding. However, the distance between the galaxies actually is getting uh, further apart. And the other thing I want to mention about is if you assume you are here on this galaxy, you're looking at all the galaxies nearby, so you will observe that the galaxies are moving away from you. But if you, maybe you jump to another uh, galaxy, and then you look at all the ga all the other galaxies close by, and you will find out actually all the galaxies actually they're moving away from you. So, and so for the first galaxy you thought yourself would be the center. For the second galaxy you thought yourself would be the center as well. So, and then if I keep moving, jumping from one galaxy to another galaxy, every galaxy could be the center of the universe. So, in other in other words, we we say that. Okay, so the universe actually there is no center. Um, so uh, to summarize what we have learned about expansion of the universe, okay, so again, the universe started from the Big Bang, okay, and when we talk about expansion of the universe, we, we actually refer to the distance between the galaxy actually is getting further and further apart not the galaxy itself. When some galaxies are further away, actually they are moving away more quickly. And the last the conclusion we, we, we learned about the universe is that there is really no center of the universe. And so after this uh, lecture, you know, I'm going to ask you to work on um, the tutorial exercise titled as the universe 
expansion of the universe. So there are two pages related to the topics we just mentioned. And again, next class, I'm going to uh, do a little bit further explanation about the expansion of the universe tutorial exercise.